Hello, I'm Dr. Amanda Cohn, a pediatrician in the National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC. I'm pleased to speak to you today as part of our collaboration with the National Foundation for Infectious Diseases. August is National Immunization Awareness Month, or NIAM. During this month, CDC, in collaboration with the National Public Health Information Coalition and partners nationwide, highlights the importance of vaccination for people of all ages. August also means the start of, school, of the school year, when many parents are thinking about back-to-school checkups. As a mother, I'm certainly thinking about all the things I can do to keep my family safe and healthy for the upcoming school year. As a pediatrician, I also know that this is the perfect time of year to remind parents that on-time vaccination is the best way to protect infants, young children, and teens against 16 seriously, serious and potentially deadly diseases. At CDC, I serve as Executive Secretary of the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, or ACIP. The ACIP is a group of medical and public health experts that develops recommendations on how to use vaccines to prevent and control diseases in the United States. The group meets three times a year to make recommendations that form the basis of CDC's immunization schedule for children. This schedule also is approved by the American Academy of Pediatrics and the American Academy of Family Physicians. The ACIP members base their vaccine recommendations on many factors. They study diseases and vaccines very carefully to decide which vaccines children should get and when they should get them for best protection. The recommended schedule is designed to protect children and teens at times in their lives when they are most vulnerable and before it's likely that they'll be exposed to these diseases. Protection at the earliest age possible is critical because vaccine preventable diseases like measles can be especially serious for infants and very young children. As they get older, children need boosters against diseases like whooping cough or pertussis because protection from vaccines received during childhood can wear off with time. The meningococcal vaccine is recommended for preteens and teens because they are at increased risk for this, this disease, which can cause meningitis and bloodstream infections. The HPV vaccine is recommended for preteen boys and girls at age 11 or 12, so they have time to develop protection long before being exposed to the cancer-causing virus. Although the number of vaccines a child needs may seem like a lot, research shows that a healthy child's immune system can handle getting all vaccines when they're recommended. Every day, a healthy child's immune system successfully fights off millions of antigens, which are parts of germs that cause the body's immune system to respond. Vaccines contain only a tiny amount of the antigens that your child encounters every day, even if your child receives several vaccines in one day. Parents may delay or skip vaccines because they're concerned about their child getting too many shots because of the pain. But getting all the shots recommended in a single visit is safe and reduces the number of times a child has to come in for shots. It also reduces the amount of time that a child is left vulnerable to diseases like whooping cough and measles. Since 2010, we have seen between 10,000 and 50,000 cases of whooping cough each year in the United States. The U.S. experienced a record number of measles cases in 20, 2014, with 667 cases reported to CDC, the highest number of cases in the U.S. since the disease was eliminated. And over 30,000 men and women in the U.S. are infected with cancers caused by HPV infections every year. Many vaccine-preventable diseases can spread in childcare, school, and dormitory settings. Sticking to the recommended schedule also protects others who can't be immunized, like infants who are too young to get certain vaccines. If a child falls behind the recommended schedule, parents and healthcare professionals should use the catch-up immunization schedule to quickly get the child up to date, reducing the amount of time the child is left vulnerable to dangerous diseases. Whether you're a physician seeing patients for back-to-school appointments, or a parent getting, ready, getting your children ready for the new school year, now is the perfect time to make sure your children are up to date on all their vaccines. To download CDC's immunization schedules and learn more about the importance of on-time vaccination, go to www.cdc.gov forward slash vaccines forward slash parents.